Hi everyone, I'm David. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer from here in Melbourne, Australia. What I wanted to talk to you today was a way of getting off-camera flash for the Sony system cameras. Um, I'm using the Fotix Odin and this works with all the A7 uh, series cameras and I think the A6000 as well. Um, basically what it will get is the you get one part that attaches to your uh, camera and then you have a part that attaches to the to the flash. Now you do need an adapter to get this to work. So this adapter is the ADP AMA and basically you just take this off and then you can connect it like that. This was because it's got the Minolta mount I think on these Fotix Odins. So you'll need the same unit onto the head unit as well. Um, I just bought those at the same time that I bought the flash unit. So I'm, I'll go through how these all work, but I just want to talk to you quickly about what I was after with a flash system. What I wanted was I wanted a way of having uh, a reliable off-camera flash solution for my weddings and portraits that I do. Um, I very rarely ever shoot with on-camera flash, so I needed, needed a reliable system that I could shoot with off-camera flash. And this, there is another system that's been released, but I bought the Fotix Odin. Um, system. Now it fires very, very reliably. So I'm going to take you through um, how this works now. So what you get is you get the head unit. Um, if you look at it here, um, you just have an options, there's a mode, there's a zoom function, uh, the on-off switch actually. This is where you control your power. Uh, there's a test button and there's also HSS uh, so you get high speed sync with this unit as well. Uh, the unit itself just has two Aniloop batteries in them, double A's, um, and then you get a USB attachment so you can update the firmware, so do check your firmware if you get this because they might add features or more reliability. Um, yeah, so it's a really simple light unit which is what I love about it. Um, and I'll just take you through the options now. So basically all you do to power on is just hit the on off switch. I mean, you can see that the unit is now fired up. You get an ABC channel. Um, so if you were running three flashes, you could have them all on independent channels. Um, you also get four separate channels here as well so that you could have, if someone was using a similar channel to you, you could change the channel there as well. Um, there's a zoom function. So if you click on that, you can actually uh, change the zoom function of your flash. And I'll just switch that off. Um, you also can run high speed sync, so if you wanted to do high speed sync on these cameras, you can press that. That will give you up to eight thousandth of a second if your camera supports it, which the A7 uh, series that I do do. Um, you also have a test button, which I'll show you when I put the flash onto the camera itself. Now, all you do to change exposure basically is you hit the select button. What's flashing then is become active. So then I can increase the exposure by going that way and I can decrease it by going this way. So that's simple uh, as it is. So if you wanted to do plus exposure compensation, if you were running in TTL, you press plus. If you want to make the flash exposure lighter, you would go minus. Um, so that's how that works. I, if you wanted to change B, you could do that too, and C, you could do the same thing. I will often run multiple um, groups because basically I might have one as a fill light and I might use one as a, um, as a hair light. So I will often do it that way. I'll have one flash behind uh, the person and I'll have the main light before so I can alter the exposure directly from the unit itself. So if I wanted to change the mode of that, if I'm selecting it, if I hit mode, I can then go to manual and again, I can go plus or minus to reduce it. That's the way that I mostly shoot is with manual. Um, I prefer to have full control over what's going on. Um, so yeah, so you, you can, so you can work manual if you like. You can also work in, in A mode uh, or TTL. So that's how that works. Now, to attach these to the camera, all you do is you, I'll just make sure it's off before I do it. Um, just put it onto the top of the uh, unit. The back LCD faces the photographer, so faces you. Just let me undo this lock. Okay, and then you just tighten that knob down and then you'll see it's on. It's quite a, a nice unit. It doesn't have much weight to the actual unit itself. Um, 
Yeah, so it's it's great. So then all your controls are sitting right here. So and now the the flash unit itself. What I'm using for the flash, I'm actually using these um, Sony uh, flashes. Um, this model is the HBL F60M. Uh, it's a really really good unit. There was reports about this overheating, but I haven't found that. I do have the latest firmware on there though, and I've used it in multiple weddings, and I've had no problem with it overheating at all. Um, yeah, so again, it's just got the locking mechanism on the back here. So what I would do is attach that to the base unit here, and then it's locked in. Now, these units here do have a screw that you can attach this onto a light stand. Um, so if you're gonna run it off camera and you haven't got an assistant, you could be using that if you like, or you can just screw it into one of your normal hot shoe adapters. Um, yeah, so basically, what I'll do is I'll just move them over so you can see how it'll fire. Now, I'll just turn the head unit on. I'm gonna turn the camera on last. Actually, I'll turn on the camera on now, it shouldn't really matter. I'll turn the camera on, then I'm going to turn on the base unit hot shoe. Now this base unit uh, here has ABC, so it's got the same channels as what this head unit has. So you just have to make sure that you're on the same uh, channel. You do have an on and off switch, obviously, I'll turn that on. Um, you can run a, a flash sync cable, and also you could run this from power if you wanted to, and there's a USB um, adapter there that you can update the firmware. So I am on the same channel, which is channel one, um, and I am on group A. So hopefully, now, well it will work, it always does. So if I come over and press the test button on this, I've got to turn the flash on obviously, and we fire it, you'll see that it will fire every time. So yeah, so that's that's the system that I'm using. Um, it's really, really reliable. I've used it in a number of weddings now and I've never had it misfire, so I'm really, really happy with how it works. Um, the TTL works flawlessly, and also the high-speed sync works uh, flawlessly as well. So I'm very, very happy with uh, this system. I don't have to change the batteries more than once for the whole wedding, so it'll have the same batteries for the whole wedding, for the whole day. Um, yeah, it's great. So if you have any questions at all that you'd like me to answer about these, um, please leave that down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, please like my page so you can see my next videos that come up. And I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye for now.